couple of weeks ago, I was sent the Seven Oaks mic rig. It's uh, designed to make shooting video outside uh, just better and easier. It's a two-in-one combo. It's one part uh, camera rig and one part microphone. Out of the box, it comes with different cables for different cameras, for a DSLR camera, a GoPro camera, or even just your smartphone. It also comes with a windsock and a mount for your smartphone. This is a really good mount actually, and mount for your GoPro. In this video, I'm going to compare what it's like to use the mic rig as opposed to just using the camera itself. So right now, the audio you're hearing is actually coming directly from my camera. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the mic rig so you can hear what it sounds like. Okay, now the audio you are currently hearing is coming straight from the mic rig itself. It is not edited in any way. The mic uses a single AAA battery and is switched on with a simple on-off switch. The mic has two condenser mics and also has a high-pass filter switch. This high-pass filter switch is nice for reducing low rumbling noises. The mic also has a switch for increasing the sound by 10 decibels. The mic also comes with this windsock that does a really great job reducing the wind noise if you're outside. So I took a bunch of different shots of me outside with all of the different mic settings so that you can hear the difference that it actually makes when you're outside. This is, uh, this is just the camera mic, no mic rig or anything. This is the mic rig audio, so I'm on my Halo Rover with the mic rig going into the wind. This is with the high bypass filter, at least I think that's what it is. Uh, it should reduce some background noise. This is with the filter off, the high bypass filter off, but this is with 10 decibels up. Okay, I've just turned on the high bypass filter. I'm going into the wind. This is still the 10 decibels up. So we'll see how that goes. I've got the uh, wind wind sock. Let's uh, turn that on. Not sure how well you can hear me, but I have the wind sock on now. So hopefully there should be less or no wind sound at all. So again, this is with the wind sock on. I'm going on my Halo Rover, kind of into the wind. We'll see what that sounds like, okay. That's the high bypass filter um, going into the wind. Okay, no filter on, but we do have it up 10 decibels going into the wind. Okay, that is with the um, high bypass on, wind sock is on, and 10 decibels. The action grip is really nice for helping to capture movement and stabilizing the camera shot just a little bit. The main advantage with the action grip is it gives your hand a better range of motion when you're trying to turn or pan. It's also really helpful when you're trying to get shots from down low. Here's an example of me doing a panning shot first without the action grip and then with the action grip so you can see the difference. You'll notice that with the action grip, the movements are just a little bit smoother, especially at the end where I have to kind of turn my wrist. This is definitely a lot easier to do when you're holding the action grip as opposed to just holding the camera. Really what I like most about the mic rig is just that it's an inexpensive way to instantly improve the quality of your videos. You get smoother video and better audio for action shots, especially when you're outside. One thing I wish was a little bit different with the mic rig is I wish the back was shaped a little differently so you could put it up against your chest to allow for better stabilization. If you don't have any gear at all for shooting video, I think the mic rig is probably the first thing you should want to get just because it can help with better video and better audio.